Okay, so now we've made our big wheel, of course, what we want to do is turn it into a generator. And that's little more than strapping a motor. So there are a uh, hundred different motors you might go for. You might go for something like this, which is a hoverboard motor, but I'm going to use my good old favourite tiny Neva stepper motor. We're going to use that. Pop one of those onto it, it's a flexible couple, and we've got a bit of rubber tape to put around that couple, so that it's got a little bit of grip. And I will stack that on some wood until it meets the longboard wheel. I mean, basic, I know. Should work, though. Okay, nothing fancy here. Move along, move along. Nothing to see. All right, <laughs> done. Let's glue the stepper onto a stack of wood so it's the right height. And we can pop that in there. Jam it up against the longboard wheel. And when the longboard wheel turns, well, the stepper motor turns. And you can see that happening. Now the ratio is 100 to 1 because we've got 25 to 1 coming down to the longboard wheel from the big wheel to the longboard wheel and then a 4 to 1 going from the longboard wheel to the stepper motor. We've obviously got four points of contact. We're going to do one and see how it performs. Now all we've got to do is screw that in place. Okay, so we've got it set up. I've got two loads to try out. One's a bunch of LEDs, like 35 volts, and the other is a um, filament light bulb, which is basically just a resistive lamp, obviously. Uh, we've got the uh, meter connected up to it, I've uh, got the uh, phone playing on the meter, so we're going to give it a spin up and see what we get. Wow. Uh, 68 volts, man. 77. Wow! 68 volts if I walk, 77 if I waddle. <laughs> Let's try the amps. Five up ramps and see what we get. So about point eight for now. Go oh, fifty sixty watts ballpark figure somewhere round about there, and I have no trouble at all in turning that. So I'm pretty sure I could get another single motor on there. And uh, maybe four, I'm not sure about four, might be a bit difficult then because remember it's the torque I can put in. Now, why did it work so well? It worked so well just because of the gear ratio. We used this with 100 to 1 gear ratio, so of course I'm turning that about 10 rpm, it's doing about 1000 rpm, it's going to give out some volts and amp amps, that's the way it is. Now, this one, when we tried this motor, that didn't work particularly well. And the reason it didn't work, work particularly well is the gear ratio. The gear ratio on this thing is about 12 to 1. So I'm only turning this at about 120 RPM for rated at 500 RPM. So it's getting out about a fifth of its output, which is about right. It gave out about 12 watts, that one, whereas we got about 60 watts out of that. So about a fifth, and it's all down to the gear ratio and the torque that I can apply by stepping in that wheel. When you match them up, then you get great output. So the issue here isn't the choice of motor. In fact, that's about 80% efficient and that's about 90% efficient. So that's actually a really good choice. And that's an okay choice. But it's matching up the gear ratio with the torque you can apply is gonna get you a good generator. And so we got about 60 watts out of the thing with a single motor. Should be able to do 120 watts with two motors because I can apply the torque. 180 watts with three motors, I'm not sure, I'd have to try that. And 240 watts with four motors, I'm betting that unless I'm a couple of stone heavier, that would be challenging. But, easy walk, generate out of it, no trouble at all, if we match the gear ratio and the torque requirement. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.